Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. You know, the masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, when no one else is around, those moments have a tendency to lead to success. Like, our most powerful and most important is when we just embrace who we are. It's just believing in yourself and, right. and embracing who you were born to you be. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. Suck it up, motherfucker, because it's still your motherfucking set. Hey, what's up? Happy New Year. All my pimps and players and hustlers out there in games. Land. It's with a Z. So, um, you know, it's the beginning of the new year, and the beginning of the new year, you know, everybody wants to work out, right? And um, so I'm here at the gym with this new guy. And basically, well, he's a new guy to the gym. He's been working out before, but he's, you know, 2018. He said he'll get in shape. So he's been, uh, this is my first time with him. He's actually been coming about five days by himself. So I said, you know, I made him a deal. I said, you go five days in a row, six day I go, what you we start training together. All right, so, go to the gym with him today, and he just don't seem very focused. He don't seem very, uh, he just seemed like he's out of it for some reason. And then basically he broke down, he says, man, I've been coming to this gym. He says, this is, he says, first of all, it's hard to get here. So I work all day, I go home with the family, business, and all this stuff. And I'm just not motivated, man. And I'm thinking, you know, that's got to be really hard, especially new guys getting back at the gym because, you know, gains don't come fast. And, uh, you know, they say one clean meal can't make you fit. But you eat a couple dirty meals, you be fucked up, feeling all bloated and shit. So what I did was I went to my goody goody bag, you know, because the brother always got a goody goody bag. And I gave him two pills of arachidat acid. He was little, he was like, oh, what is this? Do I have him? You know. It's like carry him on me, man. Right? And he was like, man, I don't know what this is. I said, man, look, look, just trust me. I said, so what we're gonna do is I want you to take two pills. I want you to go over there, call your wife, check on the kids, do all your due diligence shit. You come back, and we gon' we gonna just we gonna work out. We ain't gonna live happy, we just gonna work out. Trust me. Okay. So he took two pills, he came back, oh he says, man, I don't know. First of all, them pills was big as hell. <laughs> he said, man, I don't feel nothing. I said, alright, so I said, man, let's um let's go do some curls. Alright, started off with 10 pounds, 15 pounds. With my 20 pounds, about the third set, I see him over there shaking his arms. He's looking all in the mirror, his chest all out. And I'm shaking my saying that. Next thing you know, he's getting he's getting a little more into it. He start doing a little flex. You know how them guys get when they be flexing in the mirror. He go, man, what's up? He says, man, I, I feel I feel strong. I feel good. He said, I feel tight. He said, I ain't felt like this in a long time. That's that racket, that acid. See, what I did was was. See, not everybody is in the gym for the long-term effects. Not everybody know or willing to put in the work it takes. Some guys out there, they need a quick little reminder. They need a little, they need a little lie. Let them know that what they're doing is actually working. What that racket that acid did was it gave them that immediate pump. Made them feel like something. You know, turned them eight-inch arms into some eight and a half inch <laughs> biceps. You feel me? And he felt good, man. He's like, you know, I felt this good. He said, Why are you telling about this earlier? I says, man, because these are tricks and trades, man. You just can't jump in the game and know all the tricks, homie. You gotta earn, you gotta learn, you gotta put in your time. So yeah, so now he's ordering us for racket the acid. Now what I told him, I says, man, look, check this out. This is a pump. Basically, what you're doing is you're increasing the blood flow to your muscle, but you still got to work out and eat good. Now, you can't use this every day. You know, three months on, three months off, and if you take too much, other body parts start hurting, your old knee injuries and everything, because all your body know. See, this is, this is what happens, right? This is what happens. You tear muscle, but at a, see, at a certain age, 
arachidon acid that's in your motherfucking rabbit kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, burns off, kind of like your test levels drop. So, you know, it's kind of like them newbie gains, you know what I'm saying? And at a certain while, you don't get them newbie gains. So the record that acid is, it replaces that acid. So it replaces the ability for you to tear muscle. And when you tear muscle, what? Your body, what? It triggers the heal muscle. And when you heal is when you grow. So you're fooling your body into growth. And he felt great, man. So sometimes I was thinking, man, we got to lie to each other, man. We got to lie to us, tell ourselves, man, go in and, and, and once again, go back to expectations. Knowing this is a long term, but, you know, there are alternative motherfucking measures out there if you want to fool yourself, man. So this guy's, you know, he's prancing around and he took off his hoodie, he had his little tank top on. And I was checking him out. It's funny to me, but it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what other things. He left the gym feeling good. He left the gym feeling proud. He left the gym with his head up. And that's all that matter. He got something out of it. Instead of coming here for an hour and 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour, hour and a half, just pushing weight. He came in here, push weight, think he made gains. See, that's the important thing, man. He think he made gains, thus he made gains, and he's looking forward to his next workout. That's all I'm saying. It's interesting, man. You know, it's a lot of, you know, it's, you know, it's it's very. Um, this is how can I say this? A lot of YouTubers say they're natural, ain't natural. Everybody need a burst. Are, are you natural when you go into the to the gym and you take a pre workout? No, you ain't natural. You want some motherfucking chemically enhanced hype to get your ass going. Uh, when you take creatine, are you natural? When you take gear, are you natural? When you take SARMs, are you natural? Every now, only thing natural about your workout is you naturally get your ass in there and do it. There's always room for enhancements and supplements, man. So do whatever you got to do to make it through to get back. Now, instead of him being discouraged and not coming back to the gym, he's looking forward to Thursday now. He's looking forward. He's saying, I wonder how it's going to feel when I hit legs. See, what it's going to do is it's going to lead to the natural, to actually making gains, where he don't need the arachidon axis to see the little cuts and little striations in his chest and a little definition. That's all it is, man. It's kind of like, you know, off the topic, man. Back in the day when a brother used to know somebody so dope, we used to give the, we used to give the, we used to give the, we used to, we'll say, we used to give the mark a, a first free hit. And after that first free hit, we know we had them because we had good shit. Then they come back looking for you. Now, they might find three, four other guys in the neighborhood who got the same shit, but they looking for your shit because you got that killer shit. See, he's hooked. Now he's hooked. Now he, he lifts some weights and felt some, some, some blood go into the muscle. Now he's seen some pump. Now he, he felt tight. Now he hooked. <laughs> anyway, guys, 2018, man, is here. Help out the boy the gear. All the gear on the website's on sale, coaching and everything, man. Hit like, subscribe. Hit that little bell button. Appreciate it, guys, man. I'm just saying, man. There's, you know, racket that acid has its uses. And tonight was a bro. We, we might have saved the brother in iron who was feeling down. Now he's walking around like he's junior Kai Green or somebody. <laughs> Peace, like, subscribe, trim, most of fitness. I'm out. I love you. Peace. And remember, this shit ain't for you consumption, but looks good on you. Bible. So unless you train with something that has four legs, ears, and eat rabbit piddles and rabbit skittles, this shit ain't for you. But if it is, check you next time. Peace.